Hi. Hi. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah. We started off with uh, Glam Brew. You got it right. I did. Good <laughs> I've been practicing. I've been trying to be so much better so I don't look like an idiot. Right. Um, I like it. Guinness mm -hmm. with a rim job of caramel. <laughs> <laughs> and if you watch the first segment... We were totally wrong with the rim job. We were so wrong. So very wrong. It's disturbing how wrong, <laughs> how long I've gone my whole life. Thinking it was something else? I did. It's okay, because you have your own rim job. I thing. do. So, <laughs> you know, to each their own, and it's, yeah, majority have a different term for that, but you have your own. We I have our it. own. Yeah. So there you go. It's personal. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Um... Go ahead. Okay. Well, I was just going to say we're kind of in that Halloween season. Mm -hmm. We're kind of getting ready. So we did a little dark drink here. We're dressed mm -hmm. in black. We're all ready for the spooky yeah. time. So I have a question for you. Yes. Do you believe in ghosts? I do. You do? I do. Oh my. I 1,000% believe in ghosts. So what is, your, what is your belief? That there's like people floating around constantly? That there's... No. Spirits, what do you believe? Well, one, I'm not like a very um, religious person. I'll just put it out there. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, um, I'm, I don't associate with like a certain religion or anything like that, but I do believe in God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I just like believe in the basic, like general things of, you know, loving one another and Good. um yeah mm -hmm. and don't kill anybody like all of that <laughs> basically the basic <laughs> you're right down here like the bare minimum <laughs> I won't kill anyone and I'll be good <laughs> but I just can't I've never like been able to conform to a religion just because of my own oh. beliefs but mm -hmm. With that being said, I mean, I do think that, you know, obviously we all have souls and I think that maybe sometimes there is uh, some people that have like unfinished business here on earth and maybe they stay here. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I know there's ghosts, <laughs> but why they decide to stay here and haunt people and possess people. Yeah. I don't know. Please don't <laughs> do it to me. We need answers. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how I feel because I don't know that I believe in ghosts. Like you leave your body and you're just kind of roaming mm -hmm. the earth. I don't really believe that. But I think we have an energy. Like everything in the world is created with some kind of energy. And mm -hmm. so maybe, you know, when you past like your energy is released and maybe some energy is just really intense and mm -hmm. some energy is not so intense and then that can maybe cause people to feel things or mm -hmm. you just hear so many stories of like kids who see ghosts or people that mm -hmm. talk to them I've never had anything like that so it's hard for me to be like yep ghosts are real mm -hmm. but it's it's one of those things where I'm sure there's some type of energy exchange and that people right. can feel that and people are maybe more sensitive to that for sure. I mean, have you, I, so you've never felt like another presence around you? I have not. I've had some like weird dreams where I felt like there was something like pushing on me and stuff, but I don't know if it was just a dream. It, it's not, never been anything consistent. No, I haven't. So I will tell you about an experience that I had. Um, you scare the shit out of me, aren't you? I don't think so because I wasn't scared over it. I mean, I've had a lot of things happen to, to me. Um, but one thing that um, happened that is still, I think, about to this day is my brother. My brother passed away. He committed suicide. Um, he committed suicide at home. Um, hopefully I don't get emotional. Yeah. Um, in his room. And... Um, for the longest time, I, my dad still lives in that house. My parents have divorced and, you know, my mom lives in Washington now, but, um, it was about a year after he had passed. I had went over to check on my mom and see her and, um, we happened to be in the kitchen and the radio came on in his room and, um, 
Oh gosh, hopefully I don't get all teary. But the radio came on in his room and I looked at my mom and I'm like, that's weird. And she's like, Beatrice, it comes on all the time. Oh my gosh. And I was like, you're you're lying. Like I didn't really believe it or anything um, like that. And so I went into the room and I turned the radio off. Um, Like I pushed the button and I turned around and as I was walking away, you know, I was talking to my mom and I was like, you're, you're just making this up. Right. And the radio came back on as I was walking away. And I did like, I felt like this overwhelming, like presence. Like I had this feeling that it was him, like he was there and he did that. Oh my god! And it, I didn't get scared or anything, but the feeling that I felt mm-hmm. was like un, like anything I've ever felt in my life. It yeah. was just so different. Oh my god! It wasn't scary, um, but it. I ha- I sort of had some like unfinished um, feelings about it. You know, mm-hmm. for the longest time. I mean, I think is in October like Suicide Awareness Month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So if you know somebody that, you know, is having issues and is, you know, depressed, um, make sure that you reach out to them. Like Mm -hmm. there's definitely help out there for people that are struggling with depression and suicide. Um, And a lot of the times you don't know, you know, like someone can be dealing with something so much deeper than you realize and Mm -hmm. and it's hard to know. So it's always good to reach out to those friends and make sure everyone's okay. That they're okay. Yeah. Especially during the holidays too. I feel like people tend to get more depressed during that time. Mm -hmm. Um, So going back to, to him, I sort of, for a long time after he passed away, you know, it, it, I was questioning myself, like, should have I, I talked to him that day, like, should have, should I have invited him to go with me? Cause we were going out to like a Cinco de Mayo thing and, um, I didn't invite him. So for a while I felt like this immense, like guilt, mm-hmm. you know, and, and just feelings that you're like, what if, what if, what if, mm-hmm. and, um, it can seriously like eat away at you. Absolutely. Um, so for a while after, I mean, for a long time, even to this day, I still, you know, think about him and it gets to me and I, you know, have all these thoughts. But when that happened, it sort of, to me, was like a sign like, hey, I'm okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, th- that was always um, his way too. Like he was always joking around. Um, if there was ever anybody, like you would never see him and think, gosh, he's going to, he's going to kill himself. Right. Um it wasn't until like the month before that he really uh, had a change in his his behavior because he was always really like he was the life of the party. Yeah. You know, everyone loved him and he was always joking around and messing around. And so by him like turning on that radio and doing that to me, it was kind of like yeah. it took me back to his silly like playful like he's messing with you yeah. and he's like I'm okay yeah oh, that's amazing so in a weird way it was like closure for me yeah I'm sure so I mean I had that happen to me and there's no way of explaining it like there was nobody else in the room turning mm-hmm. on right the stereo there wasn't a remote like it was one of those old stereos that you have to push the button and there's two big speakers on the side yeah and... it's not like it was a wi-fi setup or something like that yeah and in his room like it, i don't know oh i'm sure his energy was there and and you could feel it mm-hmm. and i don't think i've ever had anything um that you know drastic happened to me where i've lost people but you know mm-hmm. older relatives or something and so i've never had an experience. And so, you know, if you haven't experienced it, it's hard to say like, yep, yep, that's for real. But I, I do believe that we all have an energy. And Mm -hmm. so like whatever you emit, it's, it's going to linger somehow, or it's going to go, it's got to go somewhere. And so that's amazing that you were able to feel that. Yeah. That's really cool. And I mean, I guess, I don't know if you could really call him a ghost, you know, because I think when people think of ghosts, they think of scary, like demonic. Right. Like you can see people floating around and I just don't know. They're out to do evil things and scare the shit out of people. Yeah, and I'm sure there are. Oh yeah, (laughs) for sure. I mean, if you think about it, I was watching this show called Cosmos. I watch a lot of things on my spare time. Is that with Neil deGrasse Tyson? Oh, I love him. 
Yes, his voice is so soothing, oh my gosh, isn't it? Gosh, I could watch him all day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you, have you seen Cosmos? I haven't seen it. No. There is an episode on Cosmos where he discusses um, the light spectrum. And how, I mean, obviously we have night goggles and things that we can see, like, um, based off of the heat on your body, Mm -hmm. um, certain things with these goggles, but for us to think that we can see everything with our eyes is crazy. I mean, there could be something that we're not seeing in a different, well, the way that he explains it is it could be in a different light spectrum. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, we don't even use our full brain capacity. No. How, like, what is the percentage of the... It's like 10% or something really low. Can you believe that? No. Well, I mean, I can. I, <laughs> I live here in the good old USA, so I can believe it. <laughs> but it's I, I can't imagine like if we were able to tap into that, mm-hmm. like what we could see, what we could feel. We would be like superheroes. That would be amazing. Oh my gosh, Nicole, if you could have any superhero power, what would it be? Oh gosh. I mean, I think the common answer is flying, just because you could get wherever you wanted to get and not have to worry about anything else. Hmm... I'll say flying. Really? Yeah. What about you? I think I would, if I could have any kind of superpower, it would be the gift of reading people's minds. Ooh, that's dangerous. I don't know if I'd want that. (laughs) I would be scared of some people's thoughts. Yeah, well, then you know where you stand. Yeah, that's true. It would be a nice power to have. Yeah, I'd be like, nope, that person's crazy. Nope, yeah. that person, okay, that person's nice. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I think everybody would be crazy. You'd be all on your own. <laughs> See everyone's deep thoughts. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. So then have you ever had, so you've never ever had like an experience that was like, oh, why did that happen? No. So I, in my old house, um, we had it built, so everything was brand new, but it was on this farmland. Um, and I had recurring dreams episodes where I was like pinned down to the bed and I couldn't move. And I just felt like there was something or holding you down. Yeah. Like a figure or something was holding me down and I like literally felt paralyzed and they were frightening. Like I'd wake up sweating and awful. And I had them so much enough to where it's like, I remember how that felt. Mm -hmm. And since we moved out of that house, I've never had that again maybe somebody died in that house well I mean we built it from scratch but maybe on that land or something yeah absolutely maybe there's somebody buried there maybe from like the 1800s maybe um he pissed somebody off and so they dug a hole and killed him yeah he's taking it out on me Mm -hmm. that could be it I'm glad I don't live there anymore (laughs) (laughs) the only other thing I can think of and and again it's almost like a silly thing is um my husband's grandpa had passed away and um, we inherited this Yankees, it's almost like a Barbie doll and mm-hmm. it's got this old timey Yankees outfit on and we used to leave it sitting out and every time I cleaned anywhere near it, it would fall like every single time mm-hmm. and I wouldn't even touch it, but it would be sitting on a ledge and it would always fall and it would only fall when I was around that area, like not anywhere else. Did you know him? I met him very briefly, um, and it wasn't anything intense or, you know, it was a very brief meeting. So I always thought that that was something, but wow, maybe, I don't know. Well, I've had a lot of things happen to me. Have you? Yeah. I just feel like I haven't had that, like that your experience mm-hmm. would make me like a believer. Like there's souls and spirits and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I haven't had that. So it's hard for me to like experience it. Well, I also think too that, um, it's also, if you can't handle it, like if you couldn't handle it, then there, I don't think that they would, you would sense anything either. Right. I think maybe you have to be kind of open to it. Sure. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll be back. Ha, ha, ha.